Hello everybody, how are we? My name is Unicorn Pondu. Welcome back to another video. And of course, Chantal uploaded a video before the live stream, but I decided to do the, the live stream first anyways. It's called My Husband Weighs Me in Weight Loss Vlog, which I don't know why this needed an entire video. Money is the reason why we all know. Anyways, with that said, uh, I guess let's see what Chantal has to say today, shall we? <laughs> Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> hey guys, how are you? How are you? So I have another video for you guys. Uh, this is the last and final weigh-in I will do for this week because I've weighed myself multiple times on different scales even. So um, yeah, so this is the final weigh-in. I don't know, for someone that loves to prove a point and to show off their progress and brag about their progress for an entire live stream, yada yada yada. It's kind of weird that she would stop doing weigh-ins even though that's like half the point of these like pre-recorded videos. So I had Salah weigh me today. Um, he was available, he was home, and um, I got dressed up and everything. So yeah, I put socks on because my feet need some TLC badly i'm again which is weird because the last time that we saw her feet her feet kind of look bluish and not super great so probably trying to avoid seeing any sort of close-ups on that which i'm not going to be mad about but like girly if your feet are blue go to the doctor immediately planning on getting a pedicure at some point i don't know i don't really care right now i'm worried more about this lifestyle change one step at a time so um but yes so i will insert the way in here Hi guys, alright, I'm ready to do my weigh-in and Salah will film me this morning and um, yeah, so let's let's get to, let's get to, alright, zero, alright, what's it say? Alrighty, today she weighs 152 and yesterday she weighed 151.4. So that's exactly what the scale at the scientific center, if you didn't see that, I weighed myself at this. They had this like big, it was an industrial type of scale. If you look at the bottom of it, like it was, you know, it was kind of like, I don't know, it was a huge scale. So, um. Okay, just because it's big doesn't mean that it's industrial. You know what? I will give props where props are due. At least Amber wasn't Delulu and decided that she needed to get like an industrial scale for tires. At least she did that. I will give her that. I know some people thought that it was for kids, but it's actually, there's some areas that have, that are more for like, you know, it's meant to be for like educational for children, but it's not only for children. And I don't think that that scale has a weight limit. Um, feel free to investigate it if you want to, that's your prerogative as a viewer. But um, I'm using this same single scale I have with the stain on it and everything. Actually, let's clean it because it's been a while since I've cleaned it, Windex, <laughs> and it could really use it. So yes. There we go, squeaky clean. <laughs> Perfect, all right. And this scale goes up to 180 kgs. And every time I do a weigh-in, I always explain myself and I don't know why I feel like I need to do that, but. Because if you go over the weight capacity, it can't properly weigh you. I guess that's my problem, but I'm not gonna be doing it beyond this video. Um, I think I've shown my fair share. Um, if you're still skeptical, that's a you problem because I think I've not really. It's a you problem, ma'am. It's the weight that you have to lose. <laughs> it's just not any of our problem. Have fun. And enough that, you know, um, my weight is not rigged in any way. I would have nothing to gain from that. Um, I'm not ashamed of how much I weigh. I, by that I mean, I've never hidden my weight from anyone. I've never hidden my body. Well, I don't know where she was going to hide her weight, but like, you know, if she finds a place to, you know, hide it, let me know, because I also want to put some there. Um, everyone carries their weight differently. It just depends on a lot of things. If I was weighing myself and I was reaching the limit of the scale, because a lot of people have said, maybe you're heavier for too heavy for the scale why would the scale consistently read the same readings over and over and over again if it was okay if that's the case get a higher deficit scale it's that simple will she ever no but for somebody that you know doesn't have anything to hide n nothing to prove yada 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 she is doing a lot of over talking for something that she claims that she doesn't care about very interesting i will say reaching the limit reaching the limit would be 180 kgs not 152 so it would max out at 180 and you would not know if you weighed more than that beyond so all right well i was not aware that chantal was a verifiable source when it comes to scale parts and things but i guess that's good to know because she's so knowledgeable about everything scales related um i don't think if the scale was over the limit that it would read 152 154 consistently every time i've been weighing myself lately these past couple of days 
But you're, again, for the skeptical people, you're allowed to think what you want. It really has no impact on my journey. Of course not, guys. No, she made an entire dedicated part to her video about it. <laughs> whatsoever. Um, regardless if people think I'm lying about the scale, about my weight, I will continue. Oh my god, who cares? Honestly. Get another talking point, no one cares. To weigh myself, I will continue to put myself out there and without shame and yeah, without lies. So um, this scale, this one here, Wansa brand. I don't even know if we have that in Canada, Wansa. You can look it up. Again, that's your prerogative as a viewer. Again, who cares? But this scale is not from the villa. Um, you could probably easily go back in videos and live streams and see that the villa scale was a different scale. So. Oh, yes, we know that it's a different scale. If you guys were not around back in the day, I don't know if I can find a clip of it or not, but Chantal shattered her scale in the villa. I wish I was joking you, but she shattered her glass scale in the villa. This is a new scale that Salah bought me when I was in Kuwait. I asked him to get me a scale and for one of the beginnings of my many journeys and cycles, um, yes, um, it is a cycle. It's a cycle, of course, of, you know, uh, binge eating cycle. Um, Out of all the times to use your own chart with your own cycles, you don't use it. Come on, it's right there. Just dieting cycle, all that. So that's why I want this to be a lifestyle change, not just a diet cycle. I'm trying to be more realistic and make smaller changes and in hopes that those will add up and make a difference over time. I'm doing that so I don't overwhelm myself because that's how I've always failed in the past. I get too overwhelmed and just say screw it and just throw everything out the window and just go back to my old habits. So yeah, you can see my new treadmill in the background overlooking the Gulf Sea. And um, I did try it and everything is fine. Um, works very well. And I don't know about that because earlier, like after this video was posted, she went live to use the treadmill and she acted like she had no idea how to use it. So I feel like she's lying about that, unfortunately. Uh, it seems to hold my weight well enough. But um, I'm gonna- Again, if she did, she would know that like she had to take her shoes off because it quite literally would not go otherwise. Be doing a live, you know, 10 minute workout on it um probably um later today so be sure to subscribe and check that out so like i said i'm not going to weigh myself for at least another week um uh, just because it does fluctuate here and there and i don't want to get discouraged for whatever reason you know it just fluctuates a, a little bit here and there so i'm going to wait to see if there's a bigger loss maybe in a week um or so and i will um you know have salah film that way in too uh and yesterday I think it was yesterday or the last way in. I didn't have him film it because he wasn't available at the time. I wanted to do it. It just so happened. And I was just like impatient and like wanted to get my video done and everything. And I was happy with my way in. So I was excited to do it, to do, to do the video and didn't want to wait around for him to be available to film me. So, but beyond that, I'm also trying to make changes in the emotional de uh, intelligence department. <laughs> so I'm trying to really not let my emotions, particularly, I have trouble with anger. I anger very quickly, get irritated very quickly. I've been trying to like start saying what I want to say and I can't get it out. No, you don't say. No, makes an entire section dedicated to her haters. Yeah, guys, actually, I have anger issues. No, really now. <laughs> and I'm really trying to get a hold of that. I'm not, I'm really trying not to let anything trigger me. I'm trying to just be positive and be very kind. I think that, you know, and it's so classic, but it's so true. Kindness gets you so much farther in life than being a jerk, you know, for lack of a better term. Or just having a negative outlook on life. Um, you know, I think we can all agree we're all on the same journey of life. And there's no matter what we do, we can't control the fact that God's put obstacles in our way. There's going to be many ups. There's going to be many downs. Several of them probably even throughout the one day that we're living now. And we have a, the only thing we have a choice over is how we deal with it, how we, what attitude we're going to put towards these problems. And I'm not sure about you guys, but I signed up for a weigh-in. I did not know that we were going to be getting like a free life coach lesson also because of it. But I guess, hey, two for one, BOGO, woo! 
it makes life so much easier if you have a positive outlook and if you're just kind to everyone you know even people who are not kind to you that's my goal um i haven't always been a kind person um i've said and done many things that have hurt people and um that bothers me a lot and you know if i've ever said anything to you as a viewer um anything like that anybody who i may have hurt with words translation to all my viewers that used to watch me give me money, please come back. Please come back. Please come back. Please, please come back. Please come back. I'm working on the treadmill. Please come back. Please come back. Please come back. Please come back. <laughs> there you go. There's the translation for you. I do sincerely apologize. You can always reach out to me if it was very, if it would be very meaningful for, meaningful for you to get some kind of, um, you know, apology from me directly if I hurt you. Um, I mean, I have put out a lot of like swear words and- Please come back. Please come back. Please come back. <laughs> Girlie, they are long gone. Sometimes, like, a lot of vulgarities in my past and um, done some things that are very controversial. And um, I'm just, I don't have that in me anymore. I don't have that. This is also the same woman that said the arsehole like a week and a half ago. Please come back. Please come back. Please come back. <laughs> that um, in me to be, to live that kind of lifestyle. You know, the one that's more entertaining for a lot of people and more dramatic, but I really just don't. I just don't. I mean, I'm older, <laughs> you know, and I'm, my priorities have just shifted over the past couple of years. You know, it's been an adjustment and it hasn't been perfect. I'm not a perfect Muslim revert. Um, it's, it's a learning curve for me, but there's a lot of lessons that Allah has taught me that have been also very, very, very valuable. And it's almost been two years, by the way. Um, I will do many videos on talking about things that I've learned. I've been writing them down. As soon as I have an epiphany, I write them down and I'm just like, that's a lesson, you know? Uh, same thing with Bangkok. I feel like if I got anything out of going to Bangkok, I feel like being turned off of a indulgent lifestyle is definitely um, beneficial. I think that, you know, everything happens for a reason. And I think that, you know, I, I had that in the back of my mind, like, okay, I'm going to Bangkok, you know, I can be more free, I can be more indulgent. And where did that get me? It made me depressed, it made me sick, physically very sick, mentally sick. Um, and oh, don't worry, sweetheart, that was with you on the plane before you even got on. Just miserable. And I'm so much happier and clear minded here. And I'm so much um, feeling a lot better anyways. So I still have a lot of health problems that probably won't diminish until I'm a lot smaller uh, in weight. And uh, who knows? Maybe they won't even go away. You never know. So I'm hoping they will, <laughs> inshallah. But, you know, I'd like to get rid of my CPAP machine, honestly. It's a pain. I hate sleeping with it. I don't, I mean, it's like, I don't feel it anymore. I'm so used to it. It doesn't bother me to have it on, but I don't love it. I would rather sleep normal. I would rather be able to just take a nap on the couch like anyone and not have to worry about wearing a CPAP, you know? So there's like goals I have that I need to achieve and get busy doing. And, um, yeah, I'm not going to lie. I kind of zoned out. Not even gonna be like, oh my gosh, well, that's so crazy and unique and special and quirky. I, it's just, it's all how to wait, 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 I know that that will probably affect my channel. Like, uh, I'm sure that most people, I'm not, you know, ignorant to the fact that people come to my channel for drama, for the train wreck, and, but a lot of people, you know, I have beezers who just come for me, and I really appreciate you guys. So to sell the last year, but that wasn't to you. Whoopsie, anyway, sorry. You know, I love doing this for you guys, and um, that's fine. I have to do what I have to do, and, you know, uh, that's all I can do. <laughs> this is more important than views. This is more important than YouTube. This is my life. And I, I do want to share the journey because, you know, there's so many people going through it. I really, really, really hope to help people with it. Um, you know, for me, life on earth is kind of meaningless if we don't try to help other people. You know, we're not an island. We're not meant to be, you know, totally, totally just isolated from the rest of the world when it comes to helping people, if you can, you know. Um, and if I get healthy and that can help people with my journey, that's amazing, you know? Um, yeah, you might want to lose the weight first before you start helping people with their journey, ma'am. We don't know if your scale actually properly weighs you. You're at like a nine, bring it back down to like a one and a half ma you know, at max. So, and it doesn't have to be a huge helping somebody. It could be little things, you know, but just always having others in mind, always trying to be kind. That's what I'm trying to shift my mentality into um, and not, you know, lower myself to hatred and negativity and making fun of others and stuff like that. I'm just, yeah, I think I'm just trying, I'm trying to really move beyond that. So 
I guess that's it guys. That's all I wanted to say. A lot of talking, but that's just my sentiments. There'll probably be a lot of talking videos about how I'm feeling and stuff like that. Um, it's like a video journal, I guess. So um, yeah, stay tuned for the live stream. I will try the treadmill and uh, I'll do it sometimes on live, but um, for the most part, you know, to be totally comfortable, I won't work out in hijab a lot of the time, so I won't do it every day, but I'll do it once in a while. We'll see. I don't know. <laughs> so anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh my God, I can breathe. It's over. <laughs> That's just so much. She said so much and said absolutely nothing at the same time. Okay, well, I'm going to run because I need, like, a Diet Coke or something because Jesus Christ. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.